Zero to Gi. Learning better is better. And hello, geeks. So welcome to Zero to Geek. Welcome to our HTML and graphing and data visualization cookbook overview. We're now in chapter nine, and we're talking about using Google Maps. And chapter nine is all about Google Maps. Now, if by any chance you were not aware of that, and you just started chapter nine, please go on to our website, zerotogeek.com, find our book, buy it, join us. And we're going to go chapter by chapter exploring um, what you should know while you're learning it. And by the way, even if you don't want to buy the book because you feel like you already know more or less the material, you could always download the source files and join in to our video and continue learning with us. Although that's not really the way I would hope you would do it because it would be great to get your support through some sort of financial transaction. Yes. But if you can't afford it, I completely understand that. Just go on our website. We'll show you where the source code is. It's completely free. And you could watch our videos completely for free as well. All right. So let's go over quickly what we're going to learn here. And we're jumping now into the, you know, the realm of Google Maps, which I love that. I love maps. The whole chapter is about maps. And we're going to get to know really, really well how to work with Google Maps or maps in general, followed by chapter 10, which will be a continuation chapter that will take everything we learned from chapter one through nine and build the final project together. But before we build that final project, let's go through the things that we're going to cover with Google Maps. So I'm going to go quickly the top through the topics quickly because really it's about seeing it. So we're, we're going to hang on with one recipe that's going to be about the Google Visualization API. We're going to see how to work with the Visualization API to create geographic charts, which is almost the map, but not exactly. Well, not a Google map, at least. It is a map, but it's not a fully fledged map. And then we're, it's chat, recipe two, which is going to be an easy one, just to make sure that you know how to do it, because it's critical that you have your own API key. Then we'll show you how to create your own API key, key in the second recipe, following through with our third recipe, which will be building a full a working Google map and seeing how it works. Adding markers and events will be our next recipe. And we'll continue with customizing the controls and overlapping maps in our fifth recipe. Well, we, when we close up our chapter, redesigning our maps using styles and seeing how styles work and how you could create a custom experience for your maps. All right. So now that we know the theoretical mumbo jumbo, let's jump in and actually see what we're actually going to be building. So I'm just going to take a few of those options. So let's jump into the browser. And again, to remind you, we're at zero to geek.com. If you want to find our book, click onto the book menu. And then find the HTML5 graphing and data visualization cookbook, which you'll find under the um, HTML5 and also underneath the JavaScript topics. All right, so let's start seeing the examples. And by the way, if you're looking for the source code, you will find it both on the bottom of the page and probably also somewhere in the top when we do our redesign, which might be already redesigned at this stage, probably. All right, so... Let's move on to our samples. So in our samples, we'll see the geo charts, which aren't very, very pretty, but they work and they're functional. And you can use them in, in many various ways. You'll see how they work. We'll play with the customizations of colors and things of those nature. We'll see how these rollovers work and how we feed in the information as well. And then we'll move into Google Maps. We'll first see how to create a basic map, a basic interactive map, a basic Google map in general, how to pinpoint it to a specific area, region, zoom, in, zoom it into a specific area, decide what type of map you're viewing, figure out what do you want to be viewed, what do you do not, do not want to be viewed. And then we'll move on to markers where we'll see how we could create our own markers and how our markers themselves could have controls when clicking on a marker would zoom us into the area and switching the map type. And when we click in any other area it would zoom us back out to our world view and also well, that's about it. And then you click in, it goes to a specific zoomed area. You click anywhere else, it zooms out. That's what the markers will do in our second, in our, I believe it was our fourth recipe. In our fifth recipe, we'll take it one step further where we're going to customize the controls. And as you can see, there are no controls now. We're still working with the same system. As you can see, these animations that we created are not that natural. They don't come built in with Google Maps. And we're going to show you how to create those really cool transitions. And on top of that, in this chapter, also, we're going to lock our view where the user cannot zoom or move as move at all. They doesn't have they don't have any other controls, but the controls that we want. And we'll see how to create that. All right, that that will happen in customizing controls and overlapping maps where we create these really, really cool transitions, um, I believe. Now, next, 
In our last recipe, we're going to continue where we left off, only this time around, we're also going to introduce re, uh, redesigning the map. So if you click into one of our, our elements, you'll see that now there are three types of, of maps. And we, can, we have our buses view, we have our veins view, and we have our regular map view. So we're going to see how to create a vein. We're going to see how to create our buses view. Um, so it, it's going to be a very fun recipe, and I believe you're going to learn a lot in it. Um, and by the end of this chapter, if we're already done with this recipe and we've seen all the examples, so literally by the end of this uh, of this chapter, you'll have everything you need to know to know how to work and customize Google Maps and maps in general. Although you might need to read if you're going to go to Yahoo Maps or or the Apple Maps or whatever maps, you'll need to read their documentation. But you'll get the gist of it and you'll know how to work with it and you'll know what you need to think about when you're working inside of a map in general. All right, I wanted just to talk about one more thing is just make sure because if you try to run the source files just as they are, you'll see that they won't work. The reason why they won't work is because you have to put in your API key. And as we said in our second recipe, I show you how to create your own API key. If you don't have that API key, it just won't work. So make sure that you, you add your own API key and that you change the key and all this information is inside of the recipe as well. Now, I wouldn't give you a specific assignment for chapter 9 and mainly because chapter 10 is a mega assignment that I would love for you to continue and expand. So instead of if you understood everything in chapter 9, I'm a fan of you just continuing on to chapter 10 because chapter 10 is going to be dedicated to literally a mega project that will help you tie in all the dots of the th most important things that we learned throughout the last nine chapters. So hope you enjoyed this title. I hope you're enjoying the book. I hope to hear from you. So feel free to let me know what you think about the book. What other things would you like me to talk about? What other books would you want me to review? So hope to hear from you soon. And we still have another two, two chapters, I guess, left, right? We have chapter 10 and our appendix, which is free to talk about. So we'll see you on next Wednesday on our day. probably feel guilty and you should the subscribe button is in the top left corner zero to be learning better is better